Well, hello, fishing friends. And if you're new here, welcome. Well, let's see. Today we're going to go to location 17. Here I am swimming in my fish tank with some of my epics. And we're going to go to location 17 and catch some of these epics. Actually, we're going to catch all of these epics. And I'm going to show you the best way to catch these. Or at least the best way I found to catch them. So, let's go ahead and head to 17. All right, here we are on location 17. Let's bring up the Fishopedia here. And on this location, we have swordfish, golden grouper, and a swell shark. So what I'm going to do for the swordfish, I'm going to stay away from metal jig because you'll be catching a lot of the amber jacks. Of course, shiner will also catch the amber jacks, and that's what we need for the golden grouper and the swordfish. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the shiner, though, because that will allow us to go towards the golden grouper as well. What I'm going to do is cast out here and let it drift across and we'll got a chance to catch both of those. And then on the swell shark, uh, I'm going to stay with a metal jig. I'll probably go to the crawfish on that one and just cast out and bring it in uh, going on the top. So since this one was on all locations and this one is on the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and fish the middle location. That way we've got a chance to get all three areas. All right, well, let's get started here. It looks like I got my shiner on there already. And I'm just going to cast out. Oh, there's some bubbles over there. Let me cast out to those bubbles real quick. And let it bring it up to see what we got here. And it's pretty close. I'll let it drift across, see if it'll, those bubbles will come back. Oh, we got a red line. Just toying with it. Come on. Oh, there we go. Right away. Got a swordfish. Ooh. I'll bring this one in. Ah, oh, looks so cool when he jumps. Awesome. I wish all of them were that easy. <laughs> First cast. <laughs> Maybe they will be. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Just like the good old days. You should be able to catch these epics like a piece of cake. Seems like on this DLC it's a little bit tougher. At least it was on location 16. Only caught a few of them. Went through and caught all of them on each location, so I could kind of get the hang of it. And then decided to go ahead and start making my videos. In the past, I always uh, I would catch ten of them to make sure I have my technique mastered, and then I'd go ahead and make my video. But yeah. Just figuring these out as I go along, showing you what I do. It's pretty much kind of the same technique on all of them. I just compare all the baits and just decide after looking through all the different fish, which ones have fewer baits that I have to contend with. And of course that amberjack, which I catch tons of those things. but. Oh, come on, guy. Is it big one? 
Hey, it's my personal best. Awesome. I'll let you go. Catch you another time. All right. So at this point, you can do a reset since you've caught one of the epics on this location. Um, you have a chance of catching some of the others. Every once in a while, I'll just do a reset. But and to do a reset, you just go in here, go hard, expert, and now you reset it. Now I can go ahead and do the same technique. And so this one, uh, this one is on the bottom. So I can go ahead and put it on the bottom if I want to just target that one. Or again, I can leave it in the middle and try to catch another swordfish. But well, maybe I'll switch it to the bottom just to target the golden grouper. And then to do that, see if there's any bubbles out there. There's some bubbles right there. Do that. Just wait for the line to, or the light to turn on. If you don't get an instant bite, ooh, we did there though. And the bubbles are going for it. If you don't get an instant bite, then I just pull it in and I recast. But we'll see what we got here. That'd be cool if I got the next epic right away. I would make it very nice actually, just make the video pretty quickly. <laughs> of course the fishing is the easy part, the editing is what takes a while. Having to go through and edit all these, all the footage that I do. Right. Well, that wasn't it. So I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and cast a few times and then I'll bring you back when I have something on the line. Nope, oh, not going to get it. Alright, oh, there's some bubbles right there. Let that drift into those bubbles there. There we go, it turned red pretty quick. It's hard to see the bubbles at night. You probably can't see them at all in your view. I can barely see them, especially over in this area. Out to the left, I can see them better. Over here, they're really hard to tell. got there. Look at that. The golden grouper. There we go. Awesome. We'll let you go. Catch you another time. Swell shark is on top. Swirl right here. Bring this up to the swirl. Looks like a swirl to me. There we go. Fast red line. Just caught the golden grouper. I'm going after the swell shark. Using a crawfish on the top. And we got a shark. <laughs> Pretty much could put a shark in almost every one of my videos. <laughs> oh, they like to go after my epics that I'm trying to catch. Catch the shark, we just keep our line up, straight up. When he swims to the left, hold our pole to the right. When he splashes in the middle, we just keep it straight up, pulling straight up. Snap to the right when he jumps to the left. Snap to the left when he jumps to the right. When he swims to the right, pull to the left. Go straight back up. Pull the pole straight up. 
pull to the left and kind of over exaggerate as you're pulling over exaggerate a little bit pull straight up keeping it straight in the middle pull straight up that's the trick with getting these guys in just make sure you get these directional pulls and over exaggerate Miss that snap, that's quite all right. You don't need to hit all your snaps. As long as you get all your directional pulls, you'll be just fine. And sometimes he'll go left and right right away, so make sure you get those directional pulls. Just like that. There we go, got my snap in. Notice how I'm going straight up. As soon as I get my pull in, I get straight up in the air, pull to the left. Straight up in the air, just keeping that line tight, straight up and down. Getting those directional poles, snapping the opposite of the jump. In fact, you can even snap the same direction of the jump sometimes. There we go. We'll get this guy here in a second. Then we'll go after the other shark that we want. <laughs> the epic shark. Come on. There we go. And we'll let you go. Get you another day. Alright. So now let's go after the epic shark. And this one's going to be on top, so I'm going to go after swirls if I see swirls. Here we go. That was a quick one. Let's see what we got on the line there. He's taking off. He will take off on us. He's a large fish. So the large fish will take off. Following the same rules, pull up when they splash, going to the left, oh, yep, same rules as the giants. Hey, there he is, right there. There we go, two sharks, back to back, a big shark and a little shark. This is the one we were after, though. Hey, there we go, the swell shark. That's just swell. <laughs> Alright, we'll let you go. And there we go, that concludes location 17. Um, hopefully this helps you go out and catch these for yourself. Um, if this helped you at all, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel so you can see more tips and tutorials for the in the future. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on location 18. Bye-bye.